Welcome to Ron Wills Money Matters. Third space businesses are needed. Now what's a third space business? It's an interesting concept, a lot of people don't talk about it. And, but a third space business is basically a hangout place. A business where people can go and congregate. See, it's called a third space because people generally hang out in two general places. Two general places, home and work. Home and work. Like, I mean, hang out, socialize, all that stuff. A third space business is a place where people can go and just chill out. Like that third space business could be a cafe. That's a, that's a very good one. A third space business could be a tavern, a tavern somewhere where people just hang and chill. Any place they can have a community, many barbershops, Barbershops in general, barbershops and hair salons, they are very mainly third space. Yeah, they, you're getting your hair cut there, but think about it. You have communities at different barbershops, people sitting around, they're talking, they're getting into different things. Hair salons, you know, from women who would normally go there, they would be sitting around talking, you know, just, just about anything. I remember I had some business with, um, they'd go to this one hair salon, natural hair salon, just for business reasons. And so I was hanging out, sitting there chilling. And, you know, the owner and the people, the women sitting in the chairs, the stylists, they talking about turkey burgers. <laughs> I was just like, wow. But it's a place to hang out. Like I remember one of the things uh, I used to do, I don't do it as much hanging out in bookstores, I don't, um, like, uh, especially a small bookstore. Now, one of the things, let me, and that kind of ties into something else about it, like places like big stores, like a department store, uh, a big bookstore, they, they not as much a third space. People might hang out, but people go in there and do something. The main third space is where people are gonna go and sit and chill, like they can hang out for a few hours. Like I said, a cafe, that's the main thing. Or it might be a place for events. I remember back in the day, I used to hang out at this one bookstore because the owner used to have uh, poetry readings every Saturday night. So it's like a place to go. Where are you going to go? Let me go to the uh, poetry reading. Because those businesses are needed because one of the things that people really need, and this was more than apparent during the... Um, COVID lockdowns, they need some place to go. You know, they need some place to go to really hang out. Like uh, churches, yeah, they semi, like you're going for the service and people generally leave. Remember the third space is that place you actually have a community, like you hanging out, you talking, you can go there, you can plan to go there. You know, like nightclubs and stuff, those are obvious ones, bars. If you think about many bars, people go in there and chilling, you know? Uh, gyms, gyms, they, they've actually, like one of the gyms, one of the gyms I go to, one of the things I had to change up the time I would go there, cause I said, shit, as one of the trainers said, <laughs> people in there exercising their vocal cords, <laughs> but that's a third space, like any place. And they're needed because one of the things, and I saw this, especially during the COVID lockdowns, people need some place to go. People need some place to go. Now, there was always been a lot of talk about everything going online and stuff. Um, anybody who really think everything's just going to go online like that, they don't really go out themselves. People go out because they want to hang out. A sports bar, that's a third space. Like you get a sports bar that uh, always is always showing the game or some type of game. What do you have? You have a whole crew of people hanging out there. A whole crew of people hanging out there on a regular basis, just checking out the games. Because, yes, it can be that, you know, it could be whatever. Because the main thing is, it's the community. Like I said, the first space is typically your home. You know, hang out, you know, you can have dinner and, and stuff. You know, Big Mama, she can make something for you and all of that, y'all talk. And that's for people who hang out. But... That's only so much during the day. And then when you uh, big spaces at work on the job, because let's be real, when you're on jobs, you that's a community. Indeed, there are subcultures in on jobs, how people interact. And then 
You know, because you're talking to them every day, and you know, you're not going to just talk business. You're going to find out about people. You might have little events. You know, you have a certain pecking order, who sits with who at lunch, how people do stuff with you talking. That's a community. That's a, that's a space. But then, you know, you can only, you know, most people don't want to spend all the time at home and you only want to spend so much time on the job. The third space is actually good because then you can relax more. Yeah, people say you can relax with your family, but who does that? Seriously, yeah, you do some stuff, but who really does that? You know, it, it needs to be some place where, okay, you know somebody's going to be. It could be the gym. It could be the bookstore, the cafe. Indeed, like, uh, like the cafe is a very good one. Very, very good one. Because think about it. People get some coffee and they sit in there chilling. And then interacting. You have a certain hierarchy. And I thought about, like I mentioned, the gym. And that's one of the places I first thought of this concept. Then attach a, a term to it. But when I was working at a gym, I never forget the assistant manager say, you know, this is a community. This is a community. And indeed, at another gym I worked at, I remember it was a small gym, but we outperformed bigger gyms because when people came in, they didn't even have to check in. We already knew how many tiles they needed. Uh, we just put their number in. I mean, we knew them by name. They would tell us stuff. It was a community in there, how people like interacted and everything. Because people need that. See, that's the thing. People need that. People just on a natural basis need to congregate. Yeah, I know there's some people out there that don't want to interact in everything, but usually they're rare. Most people want to do stuff. They want to go someplace. Like I know my youngest son, he can't stand when he's sick and he can't go to school. You, you got to pretty much hold him down to keep him from still going. He'll say, I'll just put on a mask or something. This dude just sick, okay? But that's a place for him to hang out to do things. And that's very important. Because one of the things is when people are insulated, that makes a big difference in them. People need contact with each other. People need contact. They need a place to go. They need a place to hang out. So if you provide a spot, and especially if you're in some type of niche community, subculture, something like that, people want to be around people who are similar. Oh, you can make some money. All you need is money for a space. If you can afford, like, one of the things, and this is on the bucket list too, like I said, I'm not, I wouldn't be big on renting a house out to someone. I wouldn't. But I would rent out a commercial space, get a big space where people can just hang out, have parties, maybe just sponsor stuff, events and stuff like that. Just for people to come. Just for people to hang out. So that's something to really think about. A third space business. All right. That's an idea for some of you event planners out there. Like here's something for some event planners. You don't even need to own a space. You just need enough money to sponsor something. That's it. Because they have businesses out there that actually rent out spaces. They have business. And so if you have something to do, because I've been looking into some stuff myself to, you know, put on an event. Um, you just have you just need enough money to do that. And, you know, with some of these places that rent out stuff, they don't charge a lot. They don't charge a lot of money at all. I mean, the prices, depending on where you at, can be I'm, I'm saying two hundred dollars. For a few, like two hundred dollars an hour, and that's a, that's that's been on the expensive side of what I've seen. I mean, I'm quite sure there's some places cost more, but you know, you save up some money. Say, okay, I'm gonna have this event here. All right, charge money to the people coming in, boom, and maybe have something on a monthly basis where people can just come together. Money, all right, because people still have to socialize no matter what. Okay, so anyway. That's it for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. Oh, shit. I forgot which videos, this, which channel this was. Let's go make that money. <laughs>